Hello and welcome to Fun Fold Friday. I am so sorry I am eight minutes late this morning. I was seriously trying to get this um, Facebook Live to go with another streaming software, but I did not have any luck connecting it to my Facebook, so I just quickly switched back over to this streaming software, which, um, okay. Well, let's get on with it. So, <laughs> my name's Christina Reese. This is Creating with Christina, and I come live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on my Facebook page to bring you card making tutorials. And on Fridays, I do Fun Fold Friday. Today, I have a card that has a corner pocket, which is great for when you want to have like a real thin little gift, um, maybe like a seed packet that you want to give. I know seed packets are real popular, especially at weddings, baby showers, um, but sometimes it's just for a friend. Like I had a friend send me the rose, um, some sprigs of rosemary for remembrance um, when my father passed. And I thought, oh, rosemary seed packet would be a cute idea too. So anyways, um, and of course we have lots of stamps that go great with that. Like um, I was looking at a few of them. One of them is from our uh, Enjoy the Moment stamp set that you may not be familiar with, but this has good things are worth waiting for. And of course you have to wait for seeds to grow. So that's pretty cool. And then another one was um, make good things grow all year long. And that is from our dragonfly garden. Uh, Dragonfly Garden stamp set. But anyways, we are actually be using a different stamp set. But before we get into all that, um, I want to remind you a few things. So I want to switch. Oh my heavens, I've got a bazillion things on my desk where I was trying to figure out how to use that streaming software. <laughs> Just give me a sec. Okay. Um, oh my goodness, what a morning. Love it, love it. Okay, and also I don't have your comments going. Let me see what you guys are telling me. All right, uh, switching over. Here we go. I take that down. Um, so real quick, I had some cards I want to share with these with you that I didn't forget. I try to do this on Mondays, but I've been forgetting. So uh, this morning, uh, Judy Harmon, she sent me this beautiful um, advice from a snowman. Is that not no precious? I love it. And then she um, did her own sentiments on the computer. How cute is that? I love it. When you don't have just the right sentiment, you can just use your computer. So advice from a snowman. I love that one. And then um, my friend who, uh, the, my fairy card maker, who sent me that really cute happy squirrel day that just made me laugh, she sent me a happy Groundhog's Day card. I love it. I love her handwriting too. It's so pretty. So thank you, Bobby. Thank you. Um, and then one more. I got a thank you card. Is this not gorgeous? I love the fencing here. And um, she even used our little... Um, polished dots from the brass and the green and the copper set anyways as little uh, as like nails in the fence oh so clever and then she um, has the vine of beautiful uh, flowers and she also used the computer to do some typing so thank you Lisa thank you thank you all right you guys those are some cards I got I just wanted to share with you and what else some more cards speaking of cards where did they go here they are so I have a card kit available. I'm so excited. I love this card kit. Um, and I am teaching you how to do the masking with our brand new butterfly and flowers layered masking. Um, I'm showing you how to use that in this card kit. So uh, head on over to my blog. Where's my blog? There's my blog. And you will see the link to this card kit with all the information. Okay. Oh my goodness. Love it. Love it. Um, okay. So today's card, today's fun fold. Here we go. I'm going to be using the, 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 uh, stamp set that goes with the card kit that I'm doing right now. So the card kit is using flowering rain boots. So we have that and we have the dies that go with it. And this of course is available in the shop. If you order the card kit, you'll need to have this and you can order this from my shop. There's a link. Um, the other thing I'm using, now this comes with the card kit if you order the card kit and that's a half pack of our uh, flowering fields, which is our tulip collection, beautiful paper. I'm also going to be using the white ribbon. This is called white crinkle ribbon and I love it because first of all, it's super thin so you can tie it into knots and bows and it won't add much thickness to your card, but also white is so awesome because you can color it any color you want. 
Then we have the polished dots. Um, I'm adding one more thing that um, for this card, I wanted a picket fence, <clears throat> excuse me. And there are two picket fence in our catalog. There's one in the ocean uh, stamp set. I forget the name of it, but I don't own it, so I couldn't use it. But I did have this little picket fence and this, whoops, those are the layering things. But this is in the Hey Birthday Chick um, combo uh, bundle. And so if you're looking for a picket fence, there's one right there. So we're gonna use that. I'm also using my uh, stamp, uh, the postage stamp punch for my greeting. Love that. Okay, I'm not gonna be using the layers today, but that is a part of the kit, the card kit. Okay, I'm using these colors today. All right, so I've got all that. Let's move all this out of the way. And remember, all the measurements are on the blog, okay? All on the blog. See, there's the blog right there. There's my blog. Um, and the first two measurements, real simple. And that is our card base is actually only four and a quarter by five and a half, okay? It's just one piece, okay? And if you want to write a letter or a note, you would use the back of the base on this kind of a card. So we have that. Then we have some designer series paper that is cut just a little bit smaller at four by five and a quarter. And we're just gonna tape that, whoops, I'm gonna get back in the camera. Um, we're gonna tape that on right there. Now, we'll need another piece. And that is um, two and a half inches by five inches. And we're gonna score that. We're gonna find the center, which is two and a half. Of five, the half of five is two and a half. And we're gonna score from the half all the way down to the corner on both sides. And then we are going to fold that back. And that is going to create our pocket, okay? So I'll do that in just a minute. What else do I need? I need, whoops, a vellum circle, and that's the Second largest uh, vellum, two and a half um, circle. Um, here is my white picket fence that I cut out from the Hey Birthday Chick. Um, I don't need those, don't need those. Here it is. I need my uh, sentiment there. Now I also have a paper clip to, cl uh, what I'm gonna do is I am going to clip my sentiment onto my seed packet, okay? And put a little bow on there. All right, so that is the gist of the card. Let's go ahead and do this. You ready? I'm so excited. Here we go. Tape, need some tape. Doo -doo -doo. And of course, I love our paper. Isn't it so pretty? Oh my gosh. The clouds would even make a great pocket piece that I decided to use the red polka dot to match these tulips. And the red polka dot has red clouds on the back and this one has blue and so our, our paper is just so fun. There we go, let's put that on there. Now, I'm gonna use liquid glue to attach my pocket. And I have said this a hundred times, when I want something to be extra secure, and in this case I do because I'm gonna be putting a seed packet, and the seed packet has a little, um, it's kind of thick, um, and so I don't, as it pushes on the pocket, I don't want that to pop off. Now, I have seen this card where they just cut a triangle and just glue it down, and that's fine, but I felt this was more secure. So what I'm gonna do is take my liquid glue, okay, and then I am just gonna put, come on. Oh, it's clogged. Okay, when your liquid glue gets clogged, you should keep a nice, long, straight pin in your arsenal, and you can just poke that in there, bring it out, get whatever is stuck in there, and just rub that off. Okay, now, there we go. Whoops. Tap it so it goes down to the bottom. There we go. And I don't want to put too much because I don't want it to squish out everywhere but I do want to make sure it's stuck on there, okay? So here we go. This is going to, like this, is just going our card, and we're just going to fold that back, just like that, on those two score marks, okay? And just hold that, press it, make sure it stays nice and glued. And like I said, when you want to write your sentiment, your uh you know, sign your name and stuff, you do it right there because this side is gonna get covered up. All right, now, 
we want to, okay, so that is our, that kind of got twisted a little bit right there. Oh, my glue's already stuck. All right, well, I didn't quite get it to the edge. <laughs> Be careful when you're creating that. You want that snug up against the corner, but that's okay. It, it'll be all right. It just kind of warped it a little bit. And put that back. Now, let's do this part. So, we need some scrap paper. And I have tons of scrap paper over here in my little scrap paper pile. And I need to stamp some stuff. First of all, I need to stamp my watering can. And I am using the uh, gray granite because I want that um, galvanized steel look. You know, the real pretty galvanized steel watering cans. I love them. They're real classic. And uh, I even see people like taking their crickets and vinyl and putting really cool things on their um, galvanized steel stuff. So there we go. We're just going to, I probably should use my... Uh, piercing pad to make sure that gets a good hold on oh, look at that <laughs> there we go now I can make sure that's a good stamp oh yeah that looks awesome look how pretty that is it made a perfect stamp and then that look like galvanized steel love that all right so we're gonna cut that out hold on but I need some more stuff I also need pick this up I need a flower pot and you know those classic terracotta flower pots? Well, our cinnamon cider is perfect for terracotta. So here we go. And we have the cute little flower pot here. And we're going to be cutting that out too. Make sure I get enough ink on there. Perfect. I love it. And then I need some daisies. And our daisies are going to be in the Calypso Coral. Now, when you're choosing your color of flowers, all right, um, I could have gone with the Poppy Parade. Um, I could have gone with the Petal Pink. Um, I chose the Calypso Coral back here, okay? It doesn't matter, just whichever one you want. Um, you just use whatever colors in your designer paper. And there we go. Perfect. And one last thing, and that is our tag. Okay, and we need to put, what I'm gonna do, actually I need some scrap paper to, so I don't get ink on my piercing pad here. Oh, thank you so much, Linda, for sharing. I really appreciate that. Um, you all, when you share my videos, what that does is it sends it out to all your friends, and some of your friends may not know about this channel, and then they watch it, and then they share it with their friends, and they share it with their friends, and we just have lots of people on here, and y'all can talk to each other, and we can stamp together, and I just, it's so much fun. Okay, so what we're going to do, this is our tag piece, and like I said, I'm going to be stamping off the edges of it, so I have my Calypso Coral again here, and I'm going to put some daisies up here and some daisies down here all right i probably should have stamped the sentiment first but oh well <laughs> okay, close that off oh i need my gray granite again so i'm going to put my sentiment in gray granite and i have the one that's um, live life in full bloom which goes with this stamp set but like i said there's all kinds of really cool stamp sentiments in our catalog i don't own them all but um, we do have a lot that would be great with this gift idea and I, like i said i was on pinterest just looking at seed packet party favors holy gamoli so many ideas out there. So cute. Okay, I might want to have done that in black because I can barely see life there. Uh, but it's, yeah. Yeah, because uh, it's okay. Try not to be a perfectionist like me. <laughs> it takes too long to make your cards. <laughs> okay, let's get all this out of the way and get our card back. Okay, so we have this, we need our vellum circle, and we're gonna put our vellum circle right here. But before we do that, we're gonna put it together. Y'all can't see that very well. Let me, um, yeah, you can see that better. Okay, so we need to put our picket fence on here. Now, uh, one thing also, I need to make sure my picket fence is not too long. Not that I couldn't trim it off, but, okay. So we're gonna go there, and yeah, we probably could go one more. 
and trim that off. Yeah, that's gonna be cute. Okay, so see how those two overlap? That's per, well, I'm gonna put a little glue there and that's gonna keep that nice and secure. And it's also gonna make it look continuous. Okay. Oh, I don't wanna get it, well, it doesn't matter if I get it on my vellum because it's gonna be stuck to my vellum anyways, so. There we go, and where are my snips? Here we go, we're gonna trim off this little piece of the, whoops, <laughs> it didn't stick to the vellum anyways. Part of the fence right there, love it, love it. All right, now, our watering can, as soon as I cut it out, it's gonna go on top, so it's okay if I have adhesive back here to hold this on, you're not gonna see it. So let me, um, okay, I need my silicone mat. Um, this silicone mat so awesome because what it does is it keeps, well, hello, Merlin. Yeah, you want to say hi to everybody? Come here. Yeah, sorry, you guys. I have to inter be interrupted by a kitty. <laughs> say hi, Merlin. Hi there. Yeah. Mwah. Okay, back to work. All right, so the silicone mat helps us. Um, I want to put adhesive on here, but where the fence posts separate, um, the adhesive's gonna get in there. And this silicone mat, you can just rub the adhesive right off. It's awesome. Okay, one, sticky, okay. And then what I do is I just kind of rub it so that it cuts, folds up onto the fence post. There we go. Move that out of the way and bring back in my vellum. Now one more time, I wanna put this on here so I know what I'm doing. There we go. That looks great. Okay, perfect. All right, let's cut out. I need to cut these things out real quick. So where's my die set? Here it is. And always keep, um, another thing I do on my um, craft table, here it is. Um, I have a little box of washi tape. And this is just purple, purple painter's tape, really, but um, it's really, tiny for artists and um i just get and even though it is very little bit of stickiness on there i still take my finger and get even more stickiness off because i do not want when this goes through the emboss and cut machine it really sticks it on there and i don't want when i pull it off for it to tear my um my image so there we go we'll just put that on there I don't want that to move because that fits exactly on there and if it moves just an itty bitty bit it's gonna mess up the cutting so that's why I use washi I do have a magnetic pad but it still can slip and so just to be extra careful I just go ahead and get some of this low tack tape washi tape whatever you want to call it um, I, I think this is just called artist tape Oh, but see what happened? Okay, there we go. We have to be more careful. Get that back on there. I get so hyper sometimes. I am rubbing it onto the metal die and onto the paper there. Okay, and now this one. Okay, now it's stuck. And then my watering can. Yes. Um, oh, I'm seeing up here, Michelle. I use crumb cake for gold also. Um, it's amazing how close it looks. All right, come on, get on there. There we go. And one more just in case. There we go. I'm just kind of rub it on there. All right, let me cut these out real quick. Um, yeah, the watering can is in um, gray granite, okay? Smoky Slate is nice, but the gray granite, I feel, is more galvanized looking, but either one's fine um, if you want a kind of a metal-looking watering can. There we go. And, and be real gentle when you pull that tape. Like I said, the... Um, 
the cut and emboss machine really sticks it on there. There we go, and we don't want to tear it. Okay, so let's put all that away. Okay. Lift the lid off my glue. <laughs> okay. Now, of course, we are going to pop those up. We can't be having flat water cans. <laughs> All right, and there, and there. I can't remember, does that water can? Yeah, if I put one there, it's okay. It'll probably stick to that, but that's all right. I'm just gonna leave those two there. And bring that right there, perfect. Now, we need the flower pot. We're just gonna put, now our flower pot's gonna come down a little bit. Um, Put a little adhesive here and a dimensional here. And I want a little dimensional just in case it's too big. Or my tweezers, here we go. There, because I don't want my dimensional of my water can and the dimensional of my water pot to, uh, flower pot to overlap or it will give it double thickness and it will look like It'll be lopsided. Okay, so there we go. We've got that part so far. Now we need the daisies on the pot. Now I do want my daisies to double up. So we are gonna put some dimensionals back here. Okay. There we go. All right. And now we're gonna put this on here. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, I love that. And we're just gonna put regular adhesive here. I have found that the tape runner really is the stickiest when it comes to vellum. Um, vellum is a non-porous cardstock, or pretty non-porous, not completely non-porous. But, um, so liquid glue does work, but it can peel off. Um, and so I found that, um, the stamp and seal um, really works with vellum. All right, so we've got that on there. I'm loving it. We need our seed packet. Here's our seed packet. I've got, just found one in my husband's gardening shed. <laughs> my husband's the gardener. Oh my gosh, he is such a gardener. Okay, and like I said, I am going to attach this to my seed packet. Come here. There we go. Um, Let's see, how can I get that on there? I don't want to cover up the words, but I don't want it to look, yeah, there we go, that looks cute. Oh, we need a bow. All right, let's get a bow on there. Um, and let's just tie the bow to the paper clip. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that. Okay, and then I am just going to, whoops, Ooh, come on people. <laughs> there we are. Ooh, my fingernails. Okay, there we go. And then I'm just gonna hold that loop, make it a little smaller. There we go. Take my snips. Oops, there we go. And then tuck that down a little more. All right, live life in full bloom. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Okay. I love it. You put that in there. Okay, what do you guys think of today's fun fold? <laughs> it is such a fun idea. So spring will be here before we know it. I know we're all here in the craziness of the winter. Um, you all know I'm down here in Texas and uh, <laughs> I'm looking out my window right now and my front street, the street out, uh, my window faces my front yard and it is just a thick, layer of ice and snow. Um, my yard is all snowy, everything's snowy. So <laughs> it's a fun time for those of us who don't have to go anywhere, but I do I do feel bad for those people after you have to get out in this stuff because it's no fun driving on ice, I'll tell you that. It is no fun. And that is why Texans cannot drive and everything shuts down. We live in the ice belt. I love you guys, y'all are so awesome. All the measurements are gonna be on the, uh, 
blog post, okay? So uh, go check out the blog. It also has the link for this month's card kit. It has a place for you to sign up for the newsletter. There's lots of stuff over on my blog. So go check it out. And I will see you on Monday for, for a new technique, a new card technique on Monday. Okay, you guys have a blessed weekend and stay warm. Bye-bye.